well before uh, we define what exactly is engineering mechanics or under that you have statics dynamics you should know uh, the purpose for the study or why it is required you know this subject is introduced in the first year actually the subject is very very important for mechanical automobile and civil engineering students if you take an example of civil engineering uh, branch or civil engineering students their main project is to uh, build a building right so while building a building they'll come across uh, different uh, structural components like uh, beams columns and all but in order to find reactions in those columns and all you should know the basic principles of uh, engineering mechanics so that is why mechanics is important for civil engineering if you take an example of say mechanical or automobile engineering their main uh, work is uh, to design a machine or if you take an example of say shaft only it is mainly used for what transmission of power now the transmission of power is because of what the torque acting on it and to calculate torque you should know the tangential force how do you calculate that force torque and all that is by basic principles of engineering mechanics but now you may ask why it is there for other uh, engineering students like computer electrical or electronics for that let me take one simple example if you take uh, say our central processing unit personal computer so in that you have a disk drive of course nowadays people don't use uh, the disk drive and all you use a pen drive but if you take that simple example right uh, in when you press the button then what happens the drive comes out and then goes inside right all those mechanisms are developed by basic principles of uh, engineering mechanics so it is important for all branches of engineering or let me take one more example you can see the safe movement of vehicle vehicle can move safely on a road why is it possible because of friction between what the road and the tire so that grip whatever is the that is all there because of frictional force and that frictional force how it acts what are the laws all those you are going to study in engineering mechanics so that is why engineering mechanics is considered as a basic subjects for all engineering field so it is introduced in first year itself now what exactly is engineering mechanics so engineering mechanics is basically a science right that deals with forces acting on body body may be either at rest or can be it is in motion now if the body is at rest for example you take a building itself the building is at rest but number of forces are acting on the building weight of man weight of uh, cupboard and all right so that all comes under what statics that all comes under statics so under statics you are going to study the forces acting on bodies which are at rest so basically here the body is going to be at rest whereas in dynamics that is the second part of engineering mechanics so engineering mechanics is broadly classified into two statics and dynamics if you take an example of say vehicle that is in motion right and if you study the forces and their effects on the moving body that all comes under what dynamics again under dynamics here in dynamics the body is in motion under dynamics again you have two type first one is kinematic second is kinetic now what is this kinematics and kinetics kinematics is branch of dynamics that means what here the body or particle is going to be in motion then here also the particle or body is in motion because that is also a part of dynamics then what is the difference between kinematics and kinetics in case of kinematics we do not consider mass and force these two quantities we don't consider that comes under what kinematics now if you take an example of say you have studied in 11th or 12th standard a particle with initial velocity u meters per second after time t seconds attains final velocity v meters per second say the displacement to change velocity from u to v is s then you have a uh, different equations that is u is equal to sorry v is equal to u plus at 
एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर वी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए एस नाउ हियर देर इज नो फोर्स एंड मास बट पार्टिकल इज इन मोशन सो दैट कम्स अंडर वॉट काइनामेटिक्स वी डोंट कंसिडर फोर्स एंड मास बट द पार्टिकल और बॉडी इज इन मोशन नाउ वॉट अबाउट इन काइनेटिक्स इन काइनेटिक्स अफकोर्स द पार्टिकल और बॉडी इज इन मोशन बिकॉज इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ डायनामिक्स बट वी कंसिडर हियर फोर्स एंड मास कॉजिंग द मोशन नाउ इफ यू टेक डिफरेंट लॉज ऑफ मोशन न्यूटन्स लॉज फर्स्ट लॉ सेकेंड लॉ थर्ड लॉ एज पर न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ यू नो फोर्स इज गिवन बाई वॉट मास इन टू एक्सिलेशन सो हियर फोर्स इज देयर मास इज देयर सो दैट कम्स अंडर काइनेटिक्स so that is the definition so you know now what is engineering mechanics right it generally deals with forces and their effects on bodies the body may be either at rest or it can be in motion so that is why mechanics is broadly classified into statics and dynamics and in statics what happens the body is going to be at rest whereas in dynamics the body or particle is in motion under dynamics again you have two types kinematics and then kinetics in kinematics we don't consider mass and force whereas in kinetics we consider force and mass causing the motion